show is amazing. So welcome to Indulge with Chef Queen. And Jay. And Jay. That's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just excited. So we got a whole bunch of vegetables. And we're going to debunk some vegetable stuff for y'all today. We're going to make two wonderful, beautiful summer salads. One is going to be my take on a summer hash or southern hash, excuse me, which is kale and sweet potatoes. We're going to be a raw presentation. We're going to do a raw presentation on the kale. That sounds scary, doesn't it? Yes. It's okay, though. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Breathe through it. Breathe through it. <laughs> and, but the other one, the other one, it's going to be all chefy. We're going to make some pickled watermelon rind. Yeah, I said that right. Yes. With some fresh jalapenos from the garden. Um, it's going to also have some arugula and spinach mm. and shallots and amazing. Mm. And I'm making myself hungry. You ready to start? <laughs> yes. All right, let's, let's go. Do it. First things first. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Because they take the longest. So what you want to do is start by dicing up your sweet potatoes. And then we're going to go right into the kale. Chef yes. Jay? Yes. Let's who chef it out? I am. All right. I'll do it. And before I go ahead and chop this up, what we're gonna do is turn our oven to 400 so we can roast these vegetables. 400 allows the sugars, the natural sugars in your sweet potato to caramelize. And then we're gonna uh -huh. uh, spice it up a bit. So what um, seasonings are you putting on? You gotta run over <laughs> You saw it? Yes, yeah, look like a finger. <laughs> so for the sweet potatoes, we're gonna put a smoky maple seasoning on it. Ooh. Yes, yes, little yes. Bit of smoky, yes. little bit of sweet. And the way I dice my sweet potatoes is the first cut it into about half an inch. Those are chef approved rounds. size. Chef approved size. <laughs> and then we're gonna make sticks. We're gonna make sticks next. Mm. Watch out, chef. Turn it and then slice it down the middle. So I'll give y'all, oh, potato. that's a great, great size. I'll give y'all a cool fact. Yes. You can eat sweet potatoes raw. We make a beautiful raw vegan appetizer here at Indulge Catering, which is to die for. And what it is, is a raw sweet, pota sweet potato stick wrapped with a cucumber and it has hummus. And it's amazing because the natural sweetness of that sweet potato is beautiful. So <laughs> mm -hmm. we're going to add olive oil, mm -hmm. a good amount of light tasting olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Want me to add your um, smokehouse in there? Go ahead, Chef. Yes. You can do something. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. The olive oil helps mm -hmm. your seasoning adhere to your sweet potato. So that's yes. the main reason why you use your olive oil. And then also, it helps when you're roasting. Yeah. Need some more? Yes, please. You smell that? You smell that too. Smoky. Smell it. Yes, yes, maple. yes. It smells now, when you're cooking, yes. if you're adding in your spices, you're adding in your seasonings, and you don't smell it, you might want to add a little bit more. Yes, you start totally. the cooking process from the raw product mm -hmm. and smelling stuff. So we're going to smell. Add a little mm. salt. Himalayan Just a little bit. Salt. Himalayan pink salt. Need a little bit more of this? Yes, please. Okay. Because this is low in sodium. Mm -hmm. The smokehouse maple doesn't have much sodium. So you want to add a little bit. All right. I'm going to pour that on your pan. All that goodness. Oh, look at those colors. Spread Amazing. your veggies out. Make sure they're not touching as much as possible because you want it to roast on all sides. Yes. Where's my smokehouse? Oh, you don't Thank got you. that much left now. It's all right. Just top Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Make sure you get it all over. And you season this also because as you're eating your salad, Every bite that you put in your mouth should be mm -hmm. a different experience. So the whole thing cohesive is a different experience. Yes. But if you eat the sweet potato by itself, you want that to be seasoned as well. That's right. We're going to put it in our oven at 400 degrees. Ooh, 
move that heat at <laughs> the back of my leg, okay? Don't move. Uh, and we're going to roast those off for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep. Okay. I'll check it in 10 minutes. Perfect time for me to start up on my kale. Yes. All right. Awesome. Let's talk kale. Kale scares people. Let's just be real. Let's be real about this. Kale scares people because it's earthy. Kale is amazing. I've been eating kale for a long time. My mother used to cook us kale. She, I mean, admittedly, she probably would boil it to death. I, <laughs> she's gonna get me for that. But a great presentation of kale is raw. The way that you eat raw kale is by massaging it. If you massage the kale, you're breaking up some of the fibers in the kale and you're making it a little bit more soft and palatable or easier to chew. So the easiest way is mm -hmm. hold onto your stalk Circle around your stalk and pull. Hold on, pull. Hold on, pull. Nice. Throw these away. I mean, you could juice them, eat them. We're not doing that today. So you're going to take your kale. You're going to bunch it up. Hey, get back over here. You're getting eaten too. <laughs> Can we have some more kale? In a minute. Okay. Yeah. Piece by piece. We this way you guess, get good bites. We got guests coming. I know. Piece by piece. Piece <laughs> by piece. Take your knife. Remember, your knife does not know the difference between your hand and what you're trying to cut. So be mindful. Bunch it up. Go sh straight through. Fresh kale. Yes. You begin to smell it. It smells so green and fresh. Yeah. Green is a smell. You didn't know that, did you? Mm. Yes. It's sort of like we like red Kool-Aid. Green is a smell. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Take that. Let's put it in our bowl. All right. Beautiful. Just get a little bit more so that our guests can eat as well. Because I can eat that whole bowl by myself. Yes. yes. And then once you massage it, it disappears. Yes. But not like spinach. Because, you not know, like spinach, spinach goes from I have a spinach to spin. It's a spin. We don't really got spinach. We got spin. <laughs> All right. Roll it up. Look at that. Beautiful. Great job, Chef. Thank you. I can do a little sous chef stuff. <laughs> so here's where you get down and dirty with it. You're going to take yourself some apple cider vinegar. Splash, because we're going to aid in the breakdown. Also, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is add some everything indulgent oh yes what do you want to add jerk to this everything indulgent oh yes. so this is from our spice line indulge catering has a spice line called indulgent essential spices everything indulgent goes right in and you add that before you start massaging because we're massaging the flavors into our can mm -hmm. so massage and it's similar to when you know how to have the washboards back in the day no. you, oh you know I'm, t I'm dating myself? <laughs> oh, Lord. But you take it and you massage it. Because what you're doing is you're breaking down the kale. Let's see, Chef. Because that bowl about to drive my nerves crazy. Listen, listen, listen. That's why we keep you around. That's what I'm here for. But if you notice with your kale, it goes from being this really hard, fibrous, fibrous thing mm -hmm. to now it's starting to become more pliable. Mm -hmm. Um... So the we have made it moment for me was when we were able to put our bills, all our bills on direct pay, like auto pay. And it hasn't ever stopped. Like we haven't had to take it off of, or miss the a payment or anything what? like that. Like what? you have arrived if you can actually pay your bills on time. Like <laughs> you and you As you an something. entrepreneur. You've you done something. It. You've yes. Done it. You have arrived. I had two two of those. One is when I was able to get on payroll. And we were able to pay ourselves, and I got my first oh, yeah. paycheck and W-2 that said in Dutch Catering. I said, I just paid myself. Company. I yeah. just paid myself with a check. Yes. And got a W-2. Real money. And paid taxes. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Next is pickling watermelon. All right. Favorite, most awesome, quick pickle. Quick pickle means that you're doing it with a hot liquid. And then you're going to go, after you boil the liquid up, season up the broth, the liquid is really sugar and vinegar base. Quick pickle it, just because it's a really cool, fun, crunchy thing to do and a chefy thing to do. Why not show you how to do it? Here you go. Beautiful watermelon. Yes, I did use seedless watermelon. You can use seeded, 
But if you use seeded, warn your guests that you got seeds in your salad. <laughs> and you're gonna take a spoon, go around, If the watermelon it doesn't want to fight me, I'm smarter than the watermelon. Shoot. Beat me up. I think you're not doing this. See, typically this is the sous chef job, but she said she wasn't going to get wet with watermelon. So it's my job now. All right. So all we're doing is really just taking this watermelon out. And I want to show you. It's just real simple. We're going to use this part for your salad. We're going to season this part up with a little bit of our jerk seasoning. It's okay to have that beautiful watermelon liquid in it. It smells so good. It smells like summer. Oh, I love fresh watermelon. You don't want the white part because the white part we're actually going to use for in the pickle. So you don't have to get down that far. and You don't want that in your salad. You look slightly annoyed but also very intrigued good knife now what you want to do is you want to cut it thinner slices I don't want this part right here in my watermelon so cool trick use your spoon to take off the excess watermelon because you just want the rind. I just want the wine. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on the bias but thin. What that means I'm going to cut it on an angle. Nice. Thank you. And it's an elongated bias. So it's not, this is about what I'm looking for. I advise you to pickle it so you don't hurt your stomach. Pickle it. Um, and this way it kind of will break down the watermelon a bit. And this takes uh, the place of, replaces like a pickled um, onion. Pickled red onion? Yes. I love them. I know. But we're not doing that in the salad. I'll give you little shallots in your uh, southern salad. Would you like me to start your water boil? I would boiling? love for you to start my water boil. How much water do you have? I need about a cup of water. Cup. So basically cover the bottom of it. Get yourself about, about this much. That pinky, first line of your pinky. You got a little more than the first line, but it's okay, we're gonna work with that. We're gonna work with that. That's my cup. Inside of there, we're gonna add in some mustard powder. We're gonna add in some, um, what do we have? Mustard powder. Mustard powder. You have a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon. We're gonna add in a little bit of celery salt. My favorite. Yes. <laughs> We're going to add in a, a half a cup of sugar. Celery salt. You, do you need salt? And yes, you also will need salt. A good amount of salt. S A L T. Salt. Uh huh. Anything else? And you got your vinegar? Vinegar. Rice wine vinegar. Right. I like to use a rice wine vinegar as my pickling agent because the color um, and it doesn't have that much of a bite like the apple cider vinegar. You have sugar back there? I do. Awesome. Also, I'd like to talk about echoing flavors. So the echoed flavor that we're gonna do in here is that jerk flavor. So you can either use a dill, you can use thyme. We're gonna use my jerk seasoning in this as well. So Chef Jay, if you can put about a hefty scoop, i.e. about two tablespoons of jerk seasoning. Okay. How much sugar, Chef? Um, let's do a third a cup sugar. Third a cup. Third a cup. Also in there, what I'm going to add is a jalapeno. Not all the jalapeno. Listen, y'all. <laughs> listen, listen. You want a little kick. You don't want to kick Jerk yourself in the seasoning. face. Beautiful. You can, you can add some more to me. Okay. That's, that's good. good. That's good. That's good. You scared me when you said jalapeno. I know. You jalapeno just... jerk. Yes. Mm. You need a little kick. Equals hot. It's the pickle. It's just pickle. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm going to take thin slices. I'm not getting down to my seed. I'm not getting down to the white veins in it. I just want a little bit. 
rice wine vinegar at it. And does this have to come up to a boil? You almost caught me. Yes, it has to come up to a boil. It's I'm not gonna put up. those jalapenos in it until after it finished boiling and when I'm doing the pickling process because I don't want it to be so scorching hot. Just a little bit. Let's check on the sweet potatoes. Oh, Ooh, right. those look amazing. They're done. You want to push tender? you want to push down on them and they should give you a bounce back. And they are done. Excellent. Beautiful. They smell divine. Can I taste one? Yes, chef. It's a hot potato. It's gonna burn you. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Like, oh, you got a big one. Woo! Like the hot. Uh, it's burn your mouth. Like the fish out the fry. <laughs> perfect. Mm, perfect. <laughs> Still got some bite. Al dente. I taste the smokiness. I taste the heat. Glad um, my mouth <laughs> is just okay. Um, yes. We get to go. All right. All right. Pour this in this bowl. Be very careful, please. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh. Went up your nose, didn't it? It surely did. My sinus <laughs> is good. Now, I tasted this. This lets me know that it already has some kick to it. Mm -hmm. I don't want no blow your head off kick. Mm -hmm. So, I'm only going to use one, two of the jalapenos. You're getting a facial right now. Sure am. Yeah, smoker. My folds, my folds. all stain. in your face. Yeah, oh, yes, beautiful. Damn. Beautiful. <laughs> Next, would you mind scooping, pushing that bowl back a little bit, and then scoop for me? I don't mind. Beautiful. Look at, oh, yeah, don't, not splash, not splash. That's still hot, girl. I'm not going to the hospital today. Beautiful. You're going to let that go. Thank you. Lid on, let that go, about 10 minutes, or as long as it's gonna take you to build your salad. Quick pickle, because it's hot, it's quickly pickling the watermelon rinds. We've had a Some long big journey. Events. Yes, we've had awesome events. We still had India Ari. Oh, she was dynamic. Oh my, her that was energy. amazing. You know, that was my first fangirl moment yeah, that I it had. Was. I was supposed yes. to tell her, do you know your songs yes. have helped me through my life and my family? And, then, and when I saw her, I was like this, hi, yes, hey, yes, yes. how you doing? Did you like the food? That's all <laughs> I could say to her. I was like, oh my God. But it was so cool because we fed her and we was only, we, so we're, we're preferred caterers at the Carolina Theater. Yes, so we Durham. fed so many people. We fed Jewel, yes. Andy Irie, yes. uh, we Toto. did Moscow Ballet. Yeah, the Moscow Ballet. Like the real. The real, like they from Moscow. Moscow Ballet. Moscow Ballet. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> um, we fed, uh, Parliament Funkadelic. That was awesome. Yes, George yeah, Clinton. George Clinton. Clinton. That yeah. was dynamic. That was Pickles going. Kale's massaged. We need a vinaigrette. Yes. Easy, simple, beautiful, but indulgent vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. We're using blood oranges. Now there's no blood in the orange. It's because of the color of the flesh of the orange, okay? So before you say all of that, here we go. What you want to do, similar to softening up a lemon, mm -hmm. is you want to squeeze it. And what that's doing is that's popping all of those beautiful juice pockets, is what I call it, inside of the orange. It makes it easier to squeeze. Because if you don't have a squeezer or a juicer, this is an easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. But be careful. Don't be Hercules and, and, and squeeze the whole thing so that you lose all your juice. You just do it mm -hmm. a little. You can also run it. Mm-hmm. Across the counter, you can put it in the microwave too. That's how my yes. auntie taught me. Yes. We'll make lemon meringue pie. Oh. Yep. To uh, make sure you get all the Her juice from the fresh pie? lemon. Just put it in the microwave. Listen. Yeah. Oh my gracious. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it doesn't have gelatin in it, so I can eat it. Mm -hmm. All right. This is what you're looking for. You see that squeeze that we have? That's what we're looking for. You probably wouldn't get that. That much of a squeeze from a regular orange, either. No. This is like this a, is all this different. This is a fancy store. <laughs> fancy oh, fancy orange. Fancy store, yes. We don't even want to talk about how much we spent for this lovely blood orange. All right, so I'm going to cut it. Mm -hmm. 
Do you see that? This is why Ooh. it's called a blood orange because of the center. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's red. It's red. It's little pockets of red. Mm -hmm. So we're squeezing. You want to put your hand over, and this way you can catch any of the seeds. And this is for a beautiful presentation on the top. Remember, we eat with our eyes. So you want slices for the top of your salad. So when you tell somebody it's a blood orange, you want them to see the dopeness that is a blood orange. Look at that. It's oh, beautiful. Yes. Nice job, Chef. Thank you. I'm going to pour in my rice wine vinegar, and then I'm going to drizzle in my oil. And I'm going to also use some wild flower honey. All right. Would you mind being my drizzler? I don't mind. All right. Awesome. Rice wine vinegar goes in. I'm going to begin to whisk. Drizzle in your honey. And this is the reason why I'm doing that. Oh, this smells so good. The reason why I'm doing <laughs> that is because I don't want my honey to stick to the bottom. I don't want it to drown, go straight to the bottom. Would you mind drizzling some oil? Gotcha. The oil is your vinaigrette process. Somebody told me that. I guess it worked. But hey, I love it. Beautiful. Stop. You can stop. And we use the <laughs> light tasting olive oil because I don't want the flavor of olive oil. I want just lightly of my oil. Lightly of the oil. Lightly of the oil. Light tasting of the oil. Okay. Good gracious. Okay. I'm sorry. It smells good. <laughs> a pinch of salt. Salt is a flavor enhancer. You don't cook with, we don't cook with salt. We like low sodium stuff, but flavor enhancer. There you go. Now that. Oh, we're done? You we'll sure? have to taste it. You put everything indulgent on now? Oh, they're pretty I'm much sure. finisher. It's a finisher right there. Good job, Chef. You did a great job. Can, can, I, can I go on to the next now? Yes. All right. Time to plate up. So when we come back, we'll start to plate up everything and make it look beautiful and welcome our guests. When we met in Diarrhea, it was so cool because they, she asked to meet us. We didn't ask to meet her. She asked to meet us. She said, can you please have the caterers wait a minute? Mm -hmm. And she said, the food you fed me was amazing. So we got to meet her, her mm -hmm. mother. It was dynamic, so yeah. that was awesome. Directly in the center. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I'll let you take this while I grab that. And because we eat with our eyes, this is actually going to be my border around the edge. <laughs> Beautiful. That's one salad. Let's change out our gloves and do our other salad. This is a blend of arugula and spinach. Arugula has a bite to it that plays very well with the watermelon, the sweetness of the watermelon the smokiness of that salt, and also the beautifulness of this vinaigrette mm -hmm. that Chef Jay said was perfect. I'm telling it because <laughs> that's what I'm saying she said. She said it was perfect. <laughs> um, also with the ricotta salada. So if you would sprinkle in the ricotta and then sprinkle on me some vinaigrette. And if you're doing this by yourself, that's fine. Just sprinkle a little bit, toss, sprinkle a little, toss. Making sure everything is well blended. Fresh greens. A great fresh salad is because you have fresh greens. I'm sorry, I was being impatient. And you want to lightly dress your greens. A great health, we do healthy flavorful options at Indulge Catering. A great healthy tip is to lightly dress your greens. Don't put the dressing on the table. If you put the dressing on the table, you're, you're really like, you kind of want to douse your stuff in, in, in um, dressing. But if you lightly dress, and you got to run away green, then you don't have to worry about it. You can leave the dressing off the table. Ricotta salada. Look at those colors. The white of the ricotta salada, the green from your arugula and spinach, and the red from the watermelon. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gracious. 
the smells that are coming off of here. The watermelon smells so good. Yes. It smells like summer. Summer. <laughs> all right. We're going to add just a little bit more of your ricotta salada all the way around. And then fresh mint. You can take fresh mint and just rip it because what I want to do is open up the oils of that fresh mint. Perfect. Beautiful. Grab me some fresh mint. You've already cut some up, and then I'll take some. That's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Fresh mint, go right in. Because what that's going to do is when you get a bite of that in your salad, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, not, not, not that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. A little bit more of my watermelon. Just a couple pieces. Pieces right in this, in right, right here. here on the it's beautiful. Also, because this has our blood orange vinaigrette, we're gonna take our blood oranges Put them right in the center. If you would pass me just a little bit more mint as a garnishment. Mint right on top. So they can see it. Oh yes. Look at that, beautiful. Really cool trick, y'all. If you heat this up, this tastes amazing in the morning mm -hmm. with a little bit of maple syrup on top or just some mm. syrup on top. Beautiful yes. vegan alternative. You also mm. have your watermelon and arugula salad with a blood orange vinaigrette. We thank you so very much. Yes. Indulge with Chef Queen. And Jay. Our guests will be here shortly. We're going to tear this thing up right here. Beautiful yes. summer salad. Hope you make it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you indulge. As hot as it is out here, we mm -hmm. got some summer salads for you. Okay. So I told you, now I know you're from North Carolina, from the country. Yes, I am. But this right here, it's make it cool down a little bit. <laughs> I have my southern oh salad. My. Yes, yes. <laughs> southern salad, it is kale with our smoky sweet potatoes. Okay. But this one right here, I'm excited for you to try. This is our watermelon with uh, uh, ricotta salata, mm -hmm. blood orange, okay. vinaigrette, arugula mm -hmm. and spinach, okay. mm -hmm. smoky salted watermelon, pickle watermelon rind. Well, I'm loving it as you, <laughs> as you sp spelled it out here because all the ingredients I grew up with, with the sweet potato and yes. the watermelon, yes. it reminds me of home. That's sweet. right. Oh, I'm nice. going to sit down and let you eat that. Let's, oh. let, let's see. Make sure you tell everybody. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's get started here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, first taste, great. Okay, okay. Good texture. Uh-huh. And then the aftertaste is great. All right. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to just make my rounds. Yeah, you make your rounds. Make your okay. rounds. Make your rounds. All right, I'm going to grab some watermelon. Yes. Mm. I can tell he's ready for that watermelon. Mm-hmm. Yes. <clears throat> it just melted in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Take this in. When I bit into the watermelon, it was like a splash yes. of water, just like. Whew. As a kid, I was always scared of the greens. Yes. And, um, <laughs> and then when there was, you know, when there was no meat on the plate, then you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but as I take a bite here, I am, I am reminded that is that you can do it without having meat. Yes. And it's very tasty yes. and filling. Especially with the sweet potatoes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, but I'm going to go in one more time with go the watermelon. Ahead, that watermelon is amazing. Because <laughs> it's quite a mouthful. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let me get it here. I wasn't prepared the first time. Mm -hmm. 